I hope these supers that I've been on exactly seven days. So we had a really good uh, black locust flow hit. I mean, it was heavy. I know it was coming in heavy. And then it, it's rained the last three days, but it still, I think, was still a really good flow. Yeah, that's really it. Those first few days were just incredible. We will see, though. Top box looks like definitely not full, but they are definitely working on it. Oh, that's heavy. Oh, that is definitely a full frame of nectar. Got all these bees behind me and bagging up. Yeah, they're just starting to fill that one, so. That one's probably half full. Maybe. Still needs to be dried down. Probably. Got a stuck frame. Fill that one. I mean, these are all probably full in that. Area. This one looks like it's about half full too. Beautiful, beautiful nectar. Black locusts, I don't know if you guys have ever had it before, but it's really a clear honey. Got that. I wouldn't say it's pure black locust, but pretty close. Actually, it's a little bit sweeter. Yeah, it's like a mix. It's actually really good. That stuff's delicious. Wow. Wow, it's like... It doesn't have that back aftertaste like black locust has after. But yet, that's hard to explain. Well, this one's about half full too. This one's probably three quarters full, eh? Ow! Hey, it's hit my finger. My finger's starting to look a little better. See it? Still kind of, it's like deformed. But it's definitely getting a little bit better. You can see it. It's <laughs> going on for like what two weeks, like that. Wow, that is different. That is really good. That is delicious. This one here is pretty full. Be nice to get this off here before sweet clover starts. We keep this separate, but I'm saying nowhere near any harvest. It's starting to cap it a little. So I would say that one's three quarters full. Yeah. 
because we got like one, let's say two and a quarter. Probably one of the strongest flows I've ever seen. They made all this in basically four days or something like that. What along? They'd have filled them things if it wanted to rain for three days. I wonder if I should put all the so I can get a box of the softer cap. Maybe that's what I'll do. This one's about three quarters. Maybe. These are nine frames. Dry that faster. Mm -hmm. Probably not. I just wasted my time. Here. Anyway, if we put a full super on. This one's about half full. This one's about half full. Easy. That's got to be what? 60. Gotta be 80 pounds at least. Close to it. That, those deep frames really add up. I'd like to pull a super that off just to keep it separate from my local customer. Definitely. Hopefully they dry down. It's hard to dry it down, it's rain spree day. This doesn't work that way. <coughs> this hive swarmed before the flow, like four or five days before, so it's probably not nowhere near as much honey in this one. <coughs> I think there's more honey over off. I got the other half over there. Or I got the, I caught the swarm. The swarm moved into my keeper. Yeah, they're up here, but they're not filling it. A little bit. Yeah, that's completely empty. And yeah, that's completely empty. Probably should look and see if they re-clean there. Yeah? I don't know if they'd have a clean. Well, there's quite a bit of honey down in here. Looks like they're recovering. Can we move this down there? Yeah. Oh, I didn't see something. 
I don't know if that queen would have a chance to get made or not, man. I'll have to do the math. This is all funny. Well, they pretty much did a deep of honey. I mean, that's pretty much full. Probably a good eight frames full of them. That's better than nothing. Not a queen excluders. Oh yeah, she's Oh yeah. Oh. <coughs> yeah, baby. Well, that's a nice looking box of bees right there. I love it this time of year, they're so friendly. They're not even trying to sting me, knock on wood. <laughs> no eggs in that one. They're not roaring, they're not loud. I, would, I wouldn't call them loud. Maybe there's something in there. I don't see any eggs. They're doing a nice job keeping the honey out of the brood nest, though. I like that. When we do get a queen in here, she'll, she'll have plenty of area to lay. Normally, just as all the brood hatch, it starts to hatch out, is when the queen will just start seeing eggs. There'll be some brood. Oh, there she is right there. Wow, she's a beauty. See her? Look at that brand new queen. You see her? There she is. Wow, she's beautiful. It's all swelled up. She definitely mated. I'm not worried about this queen. Wow, look at that beauty. You gotta love a swarm queen. Look at her. Beautiful buck fast beauty. I'm gonna mark her. Well, that was cool. She just come out there and said hello. Kind of figured they had a queen the way they're acting. Don't seem all worked up. Generally, when they're sometimes they're queenless, they're really <laughs> brand new mark. I lost my other one. Drop her in the bottom. Okay, I'm not worried about that hive, I and mean, it probably won't swarm again. So she'll lay this all up, and there's a pretty good population in here. So plus we got the other one over there making honey. I wish I had a queen excluder. You know, actually, I think I have one left in the truck. There's a queen excluder. Let me pause this. These bees are doing such a wonderful job. That Keeping the honey out of the brood nest and keeping it up above, so we'll make sure the queen stays down there. She's got plenty of room to lay. Oh, that's heavy. Hey, oh, that's heavy. Woo, that's heavy. And I'll be able to pull that super honey off after a bit. Not ready yet, but. 
Perfect. That is some really good honey. I don't even know what, that's a mix of something. Probably a mix of black locust and raspberry or blackberry, a lot of people call it. Raspberry, blackberry, same, same, same thing, in my opinion. You know what we could do? We could go over there and check on that the swarm that come out of this and land it over there in my pile of super. That's what we do. I gotta. Yeah, let's do that. That'd be interesting. Okay, so this is the swarm. Obviously, we don't need that many supers on it. And so what I do is I got a screen bottom board with a tray out, and then I got medium box and the entrance has got foam over it so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I have to move these out of here so I'm gonna have to lock them up I don't feel like driving them to some other yard or something so we'll just lock them up for a little bit I should have done it when it ran this is that swarm of that hide we just left it's been in there two weeks maybe something like that Yep, definitely has bees in it. <laughs> oh, they're glued together, that's for sure. That is a heavy, heavy, heavy box. That is all honey. from the other hive and I made it last July. It's one of my breeder queens actually. Wow that is heavy. That is heavy. Look at that. Just a they didn't draw that frame out on the end but that is a solid box of Hanai. <laughs> Made that in basically four days. Four days. It's just a heavy, heavy flow. There's so much of it around here. That... Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Awkward. Awkward situation. Kind of messed up them frames. Looks like it was missing a frame. Definitely. That's probably that I have these frames ready to go. So they're all, I mean, it's just a stack of supers. It ain't like I have to plan on keeping bees in here. Okay, now we got, I hope you guys can see this. Now we got, I'd be better off moving out of here. Good size swarm. Make honey like that. Oh, 
Oh boy. Wow. Oh. That is heavy. That is full of. Looks like it's getting brewed. Yeah, we're down in the brood nest now. <coughs> I got plenty of honey in there. That thing's heavy. This one's pretty heavy too. coming in the top of the hive so I'll have to prop that open or something. I'll just put it on a regular bottom board. I got some more supers at least. I'm out of supers. <laughs> and I had everything. The shed was full of them. They're all bad on. I'll get them used to using them. Bottom entrance. They're all building up on top of there now. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> anyway, yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. They're too heavy to move right now. I'm not gonna do that to myself and my son. But anyway, I'll just put them on a regular bottom board. Alright, thanks for watching.